sounds so nice. I can't hear the game. Oh, it's too loud. Hmm. Maybe put it on this, yeah. No, it's not cold. It's still pretty hot. But it's, it's like the perfect temperature now, which is pretty good. Okay. New game. Let's start it all again. That game is really loud. I'm going to turn in the volume down a little bit. Not for you guys, but for me. Story and oh fuck, I can't read it. I'm fucking blind. Oh, I do need classes. <laughs> I do need classes. I, I, I already know that, but I forget to make an appointment at the eye doctor. But the game is really small. Um, it's too quiet for you? Okay. Better? Well, it's nothing much happening right now, so... But the game is really small on my screen right now. I don't know how to make it bigger. I like that she's reading us uh, it to us because I can barely read it. I can't wait to find out what mysteries are waiting for me. You must come and visit me if you have the time. Yours faithfully, Catria. I like her name. It's a nice name. Lady and the Tramp. Okay. Okay, so our first mystery is from a dog. Okay. I just wanted to use my mouse, my computer mouse, to, to play the game. But I need to take my controller. <laughs> Um, give me a second. Okay, so the letter K has fallen down from the sign above the cake shop. Use the three triangles to make the letter K inside the box. Place the hand over a triangle using the left stick. That's this one, okay. Um, wait, place hand right there. Then pick up the triangle by holding down 
A. Once you've grabbed it, you can move it around with the left stick and rotate it with L and R. Release A to place the triangle in position. When the K is formed, the success message will be displayed automatically. Place the triangle carefully. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, on the on the left side there is written exactly the same thing I just read. Okay, I can do that. I, I think I can. Should be. Oh, that's not it. No. Do you know in all the home movies? Kind of. I think. I don't know which one inspired which, but I think they kind of belong together. Oh, I think I think I got it. I think I got it. Wait, no, I did something wrong. To you go over there. Maybe. Why does it not take the thing? It's not it. How do we make a K out of this? But it's difficult. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I think I got it. Well, I, I already said that, I know, but I think this time I got it for real. <laughs> Put these. <gasps> I did it! This should do it, I think. I did it! <laughs> you did it. The, th the sign is fixed and the shop is open again. Hmm. Care for a cake, anyone? Nope, I have my chili. What are Picarats? Picarats? I have no fucking idea how to pronounce that. Picarats are both a commodity you earn by completing puzzles and the measure of puzzle difficulty. The higher a puzzle, puzzle's picarat's value is, the harder the puzzle will be. Each time you get a puzzle wrong, <laughs> each time you get a puzzle wrong, the available picarat's diminish. So think carefully before you answer. Huh. Okay, so we need these picarats for I don't know what but the higher the amount the harder is the 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 puzzle I think if I got it right and if we if we solve it wrong like well fail to solve it it's going to take away some of the picarats okay Special end of game save includes some bonuses, among which you'll find the top secret file. The more picarats you've amassed while playing the game, the more earth shattering the revelations you'll 
find inside it. Okay, I don't get that. But there are some rare top secret files. Puzzle 1! Care for a cake has been added to the puzzle index. Oh, we have a puzzle index! So we collect all of our puzzles. Total amnesia. Ah, a dog with amnesia. If I could just remember my parents, it might make more sense. I feel like I'm me, but not really me. I don't even know if I'm pedigree. Is that all? No, that's not all. I want you to find out who I really am. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. I'm a talking dog. Got anything else? Diabolical box that kills you? A letter from the future? A relic from an ancient civilization? Nothing like that? Nothing. Well, this is my first inquiry. Perhaps it's fake. All right then. Any clues? Well, not everyone can hear me talking. Some can, some can't. It's very rare to find someone who can actually. <laughs> Just spoke. <laughs> yes, the amnesia is the. And yeah, the yeah, of, 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 uh, of course. Is this? Only the amnesia. He's my assistant. I told him I don't need help, but he won't listen. Overly dog it. No one wants that. What's all this about, Miss Layton? This talking dog wants me to solve the mystery of who he is and where he comes from. So, we've had our first inquiry. Incredible, Miss. Such a fascinating case from day one. Your reputation obviously precedes you. So, I don't believe you told me your name. Ernest. Ernest Greaves, Miss. <sighs> He's not the smartest. He's definitely not the smartest. Like. I see. Um, have, have I said something wrong? I... I can't even remember my own name. Mm. Well, do you remember anything else at all? I've got a vague memory of a tower or something falling down, and then lightning flashing across the sky. That's it? Oh, goodness, golly, not much to go on, is it? Who are you? <laughs> oh, it certainly isn't. I've no other cases at the moment, so why not? I'll do what I can. You will? Well, that's great! Oh, but I must insist on my fee, even for man's best friend. Oh, I'm not poor. Well, here's the paperwork then. Now, you'll need a name. How about Sher? Sher? You said you can't remember your name. So, I've thought of one for you. With inspiration from the famous Sherlock Holmes. It really suits you. Oh, that's splendid, sir. Being named after such a prestigious figure, I mean. <laughs> Who asked you, anyway? Look. Here. Sherl O.C. Coons. Sherl is a great name. Sure, girl. Don't yap, Sherl. Stop calling me that. Surely there's no need to get angry. Kurt, are you in? Ah. Inspector Hastings. Yes, we wanna save. We wanna save. I already like the storyline. The storyline is pretty nice. Inspector Hastings, whatever is the matter. You look positively besides yourself. I'm sorry, but I won't do the British accent because I don't know how to do a British accent. So, yeah. <laughs> You won't believe what ha what's happened. 
Wait, why is there an... Why is the letter missing? Who is this loud mouth, long nosed nerd? <laughs> He's got more color than me. This is Inspector Hastings, Charles, from Scotland Yard. Despite appearances, he's actually responsible for ensuring London's, sa London's safety. What's that muff doing, doing here? Don't don't tell me you've gone and bought yourself a pet cat. Oh, he can't. He cannot uh, understand the dog. He cannot understand Charles. A pet? A pet? Do I look like a pet? Don't answer that. Uh, answer that. Oh, it looks as so Inspector Hastings can't understand what you're saying, Cheryl. Of course he can't. Like I said, it's an exclusive club. Most people just hear whoops and barks. <laughs> and yet, in and yet in a straw poll of those present here, two out of three are in the club. Very exclusive. Why? Why do I? Why do I think she's saying that? pretty sarcastically. It, it just feels like it. I can't help it if Super Snitch here isn't one of the enlightened ones. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. What are you muttering about, cat? Sorry, Inspector. To answer your question, no, Shell isn't a pet. Ra rather, he is my very first client. First to have signed on the dotted line and enlist enlist my service. I earn Right, Charles is nice, like he's 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 the best. Well strictly speaking, miss, he can't sign anything of course. He's digitally impaired. An excellent observation, Ernest. I love Ernest as well. Ernest is cute. Like he's so stupid, but still, like, I don't know what my neighbors are doing, but it's loud. They're banging at the at the floor. I don't know. Uh, an excellent observation, Ernest. Let me rephrase that. The first to have put his paw print on my paperwork. Eh? Is this some kind of wind up? Well, anyway, we haven't got time to be discussing pets. I've got a case I need you on, cat, and I need you on it right now. How intriguing! Why the urgency? And why do you need me in particular, Inspector? Because we all know you're the best. You've proved, you have proved that when you've helped me <laughs> out in the past. Okay, it's really hard to read him. Prove that when you've helped me out in the past. I don't know why, but Inspector Hastings is hard to read. With your little gray cells in the case, we'll have it solved in no time, I think. I I hope. Well probably. His confidence is you in in you is inspiring, cat. Don't you worry, Inspector. There's not a case in the world that Miss Layton couldn't crack. Any mystery solved. That's the Layton's Detective Agency motto, you know. Well, let's hope you can put your money where your mouth is. Cause we need all of the help we can get on this one. Why is... Like, I know it's a dialect he's talking in, but it's so hard to read when there are letters missing. <laughs> oh gosh. Perhaps it's time you told us what has actually happened, Inspector. Well, it's hard to believe, to be honest. I mean, you'd never expect something like that to ha get nicked. Has something been stolen? A burglary case, is it? Of sorts, yeah. But not your average run-on-the-mill run burglary. This affects everyone in London, in the, in the old of Oh, in the whole of Britain, I think. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's hard to read. <laughs> Gosh, really? Whatever could be so important? 
I think you better just come to the, to the scene, then I'll explain everything. That sounds like a very good idea. Lead the way. Hello? Isn't there a little matter we f we're forgetting here? Look how panicked he is. <laughs> oh, poor sure. <laughs> what about figuring out my true identity? Oh yes, well, the trouble is... This new case just sounds a lot more interesting. <laughs> interesting? You, de you decide which case to investigate based on how interesting they are? Do you? Exactly. I'm glad you understand. Well, pardon me for only being a talking dog. I really must try harder to be more interesting. Oh, oh no, Shirley. Don't be like that. Your case is important to us, but we are expecting high volume of inquiries at present. And you've had one new inquiry. One. Never mind. Clearly the inspector here has his knickers in a twist. What, what are those? What is this? About something. Let him jump the queue if he has to. Good, that, that's that settled then. Now let's get to the scene and start investigating. Where are we going, Inspector? Just down the road, as it happens, to Big Ben. Big Ben? The Elizabeth Tower, I presume. Not Burley Benjamin, who lives a few doors down, surely. Good gracious, the hour hand, it's missing. Yep, I'm afraid so. It was reported to us this morning. So that's what this is all about. One of the hands from the clock tower has been stolen. Unbe unbelievable, isn't it? We've gotta catch the old We have to catch the hooligan who did who did it and get the hand back quick smart. This is the hardest dialect I've ha ever read. But there are four clock faces on the Elizabeth Tower, aren't there? Even if this one our hand is missing, the other th three faces will still show the correct time, surely. That's right, I mean, certainly. It may be a little inconvenient perhaps, but to, des but to describe this as affecting all of Britain isn't that rather an exaggeration? Yeah, my better half said the same thing, but it's much worse than a bit of inconvenience to not knowing the, time, the right time. The problem is, we're due a visit tomorrow from an ambassador Fudufafa? How do you pronounce that, F folks? For du Fafa. That's a weird name. It's not a weird name, but it's. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Oh, yes, I remember reading about it in the Times. It's an anniversary of the Treaty of Rome, isn't it? But, but what does that have to do with the Eliz Elizabeth Tower? The ambassador is going to be received at the venue inside of the. Houses of Parliament and Big Ben. It is a symbol of timeless friendship and cooperation between our two lands. Which they planned on giving him a present, a pendant model on the hands of Big Ben. Oh dear, 
Yeah, so you can only imagine that the conversation's gotta turn to the subject of the clock tower at some uh, some point. And it's not gonna look too clever if the very hands the pendant is modeled on have been half inched by some low life scroundle the mad can't catch. Why are there so many hard words in there? Why? Obviously it will be plastered all over the foreign press as well. It's a blooming disgrace in what it is. I see. So that's why you're in your intent on tracking down the culprit and recovering the missing hand before tomorrow's engagement. Exactly. Really, really, really. We really need your help on this one, Cat. Of course, I'll do everything I can. Our natural pride is at stake here, as you say. Well, that's a relief. I was worried you'd turn me down. Obviously, Scotland Yard will be carrying on with its own investigations at the same time. It's all hands on deck. I've got officers scouring the area around the tower, so you can ask them if they've got any leads. I tried to google the name, but there are no helpful results. You mean the faux fafa name? It's so weird. I, don't, I, I cannot even imagine what country it would be from. It sounds so... Like, I've never heard a name like this. It could be from anywhere. Well, not anywhere, but there are so many countries that would write like this I think but I think it's French but then it would not make any sense with the Treaty of Rome because Rome is in Italy it's, it's I, I don't know um, I've got officers scouring the area around the tower so you can ask them if they've got any leads leave it to me inspector we get started at once. Gosh, I miss... No, 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 no. Gosh, miss. It's so rousing when you take the bull by the horns like that. Oh, he, he de he's definitely in love. He's in love with her. Oh, no. No, wait a minute. What now? Well, as this is our first case since the establishment of the Nathan Detective Agency, I'd better show you the ropes. Let me explain how I like to carry out my investigations. Okay, so she's kind of special. Oh yes, please do, Miss Layton. Oh, he's he's so in love. <laughs> and in investigation mode, the cursor on the screen changes to be a magnifying magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. I don't know if I said that correctly. <laughs> Use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around and examine every inch of the scene. Sometimes when you move the magnifying glass over a particular point, it will turn orange. Whether you identify, when you identify a point of interest like that, press A to find out where, what's there. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. You can also use the di directional buttons to quickly snap the magnifying glass between people and areas of interest okay these okay you need to master both controls okay i can do that so the left stick is to move the magnifying glass around or the look direction buttons to choose an area of interest rapidly all right i think i've got the hang of it <laughs> oh ernest you don't need to get the hang of it you're not playing the game <laughs> i like ernest Got the hang of licking her boots. Yep. Um, sorry, I mean you're a fast learner, pinstripes. <laughs> That's bullying, Cheryl. So let's get straight to bus down to business and start investigating. Let's start with the top of that lamppost, shall we? Use the left stick. Okay. Oh, oh, that's move. That's moving really quick. Ah. Oh. We got a hint coin. I, I, I'm not sure if it's if one coin is helpful, but not bad. 
Golly, a little coin dropped down. Look. Yes, that's a hint coin. They can buy you hints. Uh, they can buy you hints when you're solving puzzles. Of course, I like like real money. Once you spend them, they're gone. So only use them when you really need them. Okay, so we try to never use any. I won't say we we are doing a challenge where we never use them because um, we will probably need one or two, maybe ten. I don't know. But let's try to use as little as possible. You find them hidden. You find you will find them hidden in all sorts of places. So leave no stone unturned. I see. So hint coins are shiny, shy, shy, shy little creatures, are they? Come on, cat. What are you drawing? Dawdling? Come on, cat. What are you dawdling there for? Uh, the case woman. The case. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now, now, inspector. Let's ha let's haste more speed. Okay. Investigations need to be carried out carefully, and above all, you must record everything at each step. Hmm. Teaching grandma to suck eggs. Aren't you what? <laughs> what kind of? Like what? <laughs> Let's just go over the most important items in my bag. Select the bag icon on the bottom left corner of the screen to open up the bag menu. Or you can just press X. Cat's journal contains all my notes about the investigation so far. Very useful for recapping. To achieve, to achieve the case history, Choose save from the menu. That will make a record of this story so far. That's one of the most important things. This is a puzzle index. Any puzzles we encounter are recorded in here. So you can tackle once you've already completed again, if the mood takes you. Um, no. And there's a brand new puzzle in daily puzzles every single day. If you also delve into my wardrobe from this from time to time you can pop into some different outfits. Blimey, you got enough in that bag of yours, cat. Every ever heard of tidying is is this crazy idea where you actually get rid of stuff you don't need. <laughs> oh no, it's perfectly perfectly fine as it is. The trick when with an any handbag is to know where to find everything and what to use when. That's that's so true. Like I have so much shit in my bags. Like so much. But I know where everything is. So it works. Good, that's covered the fundamentals of the investigations process. Now it's time for no, now it's time to put the theory into practice and investigate the clock tower. The clocks are awfully high off the ground, though, aren't they? Then you must zoom in, Ernest. Zoom in, miss? How do you do that? Just, just, just imagine for one second. Like, uh, you're sitting in class or something and you're like, uh, teacher, can you write a little bit bigger? I cannot read it and your teacher is like oh just zoom in just zoom in just imagine that it's it's too far away I cannot see it just zoom in oh my gosh sometimes you may notice the magnifying glass color change into blue instead of orange while you're investigating that indicates a place where you can zoom in and take a closer look all you have to do is press A and everything will appear larger. Okay. Very natty. Well, it's extremely important to be thorough when you're investigating, you see. So, why don't you zoom in now, take a closer look at the clock face. Ah! Okay. Oh, look at that! It's an orange looking glass. It's true, the shorthand 
really is missing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you have to zoom in for that. <laughs> okay. Someone needs glasses. Ah, but of course the other clock faces all have both hands. Yeah, it's only the one side that the short hand's been taken. The other three are unaffected. Oh, so it's just one short hand that we're looking for? Even a short hand from one of the clocks on the big band tower would be a very sizable object. Yeah, I think they're a few meters long. And not something that would disappear easily. Obviously, we've searched all around the clock face, as well as the base of the tower. But their hands just m disappeared into thin air. This is turning into a very interesting case indeed. A quarter of London doesn't know what time it is, and you call it interesting? Alright, now that we know we're, what we are dealing with, it's time we started. She just ignored Cheryl. You should start by stepping back and looking at the bigger picture again. So select zoom out or just press B. Nice. Where do we start, Miss Layton? Well, time of the times of the essence, so I have to solve this before Ambassador Fudu Fafa arrives tomorrow. Like what the fuck is this name? Like, I could have chosen a so much easier name. <laughs> Let's begin by asking Inspector Hastings team what they they have learned so far. Or they could have like a little movie sequence where they just like someone says the name so I know how to pronounce it. That would be so easy. But they didn't do it, so I don't know how to pronounce food fafa. Let's begin by asking Inspector Hastings' team what they've learned so far. That's right. Why do the work yourself when you can't get someone else to do it for you? <laughs> exactly, Cheryl. Exactly. Okay, let me just get a spoonful of chili. It's so good. I'm really happy. It's a bit cold now, but still good. <laughs> Nonsense, Charles. We can't afford to duplicate effort. That's all. Of course. Come along then, you two. No time to lose. Look how happy she is. Coming, miss. Oh, he's so in love. Like, mm. He's the cutest. Ah, it's rather pleasant pleasant here with all the greenery, don't you think? Another fine day, perfect for talking, taking the dog for a walk, if not for this case. But it's orange. Mm, okay. It's orange. Inspector Hastings, can you summarize what you've, you've found so far? Not a f not a fat lot, really. There was a hobby on. There was a Bobby on the beat here last night who confirmed nothing was amiss at 11:50. It was until 6 this morning that we got a report from a stunt local who happened to glance at the clock. We came to confirm the report straight away and found and found it to be true. The hour hand was. Why does he not say the, like, ah, the hour hand was well and truly gone. <clears throat> so at 11.50 last night, the clock was fine, but by 6 this morning, the hand was missing. That's what he just said. So we're looking at the window of about six hours in which the crime was committed. That's about the size of it, yep. And wasn't there anybody else who looked at the clock tower in that six hour window? We're looking into that now. I've got officers asking locals if they saw anything. There must be someone who looked at the clock at, in all that time. No doubt it was if we went door to door we could find some witnesses, but we just don't have the 
that kind of time. So we just have to manage with what we know already, you mean? Pretty much in those hands are massive. It would have taken someone a fair old while to make off with it, that's for sure. Hmm, six hours. That's a clue? Oh, okay. As your investigation progresses, you'll unearth certain key pieces of information that, com that, forms, that form clues. Each case has six clues to uncover and once you find all six, you'll be able to solve the case. Clues may arise from statements that appear to have nothing to do with anything, but you use your sleuthing skills to piece it all together. If you want to look at the clues you've gathered so far, open Katrina's bag and look at the current case file. When you need to refresh your memory about the case, the case file will the case file is play is the place to look. Okay. According to Inspector Hastings, the clock hand must have been stolen in a roughly six hour window between 11.50 p.m. last night and 6 a.m. this morning. Okay. Case files have been added to Cat's bag. Ah, it's so exciting to be investigating a case at least. What do we do first, miss? Well, we'll start by interviewing members of the public, Ernest. Gosh, that sounds like proper detective work. I, I can't help myself but to read him like his his words pretty um, sarcastic. Let's find out if anyone around here has noticed that what's wrong with the clock tower and if they might have useful information for us. There are rather a lot of passerbys here, aren't there? How do we know who to ask? The more people we talk to, the better. So let's get started. When there's more than one place to investigate next, you'll see multiple magnify magnifying glass icons displayed at the top right of the screen to invest in investigation mode. Once you have examined one of those places, it will be marked with tick icon. So keep an eye on the magnifying glass icons and tick icons on the top right of the screen as you're hunting for clues. Okay, I think we can do that. I mean, just stretch. Okay, so let's see. We have two magnifying classes and it looks like Inspector Hastings is one of them. The end of the clock tower disappeared six hour in a six hour window, sometimes between... We already know that. So that's not a clue. He got a, an orange one. Top of the morning to ya. Got a minute to answer a few questions? Uh, um, alright. I'm, investi I'm investigating <laughs> the extraordinary disappearance of the little hand of Big Ben, see? So did either of you happen to see anything? anything around these parts last night such as for instance a person or persons transporting a large hand like object <laughs> yeah of course gosh he he gets straight to the point doesn't he <laughs> yeah he's asking the very question I was about to ask him oh where's my manners uh, sorry I'm Douglas dirt everyone come Calls me Doug. I'm a reporter with the London Times. See? Are you readers at all? Oh, I say. Personally, I think London Times is the best paper in the city. Ahaha. Ha. <laughs> you're too kind. <laughs> um, you're too kind, lad. Although I do make the 
it my mission to dig up the most dirtiest of dirt and uncover the most unsavory of, of sooth. And at present, as I mentioned, a foreman Jonen. A foreman Jonen. Please. What? I'm investigating the disappearance of Big Ben's hand. As it happens, we're investigating the same thing. Perhaps you might st share anything you've learned. Sorry, investigating, you, sa uh, you say? Well, there's a turn up for the books. You don't look like the de detectives, I must say. Well, he does not look like a detective as well. If I had to guess, I have pegged you as a young couple out walking. Your love your lovely dog on this delightful morning. Aww. Well, I'm a detective. Haven't you ever heard of the latent detective agency? I have a short question. Like, she opened her agency like two days ago or something? I'm not sure. How is he supposed to know the latent detective agency? Leighton? I know the famous Professor Leighton, of course, but I didn't realize he had an agency or people in his, in his employ. Always nice to, nice to have signed up with a complete unknown really inspires confidence. <laughs> oh, what a blow, mind you. I didn't really expect any different. Don't worry, Miss Leighton. You'll be famous, famous soon enough. I'm quite certain of that. Look at him. He's in love. You cannot tell me anything different. Like, look. Anyway, as it appear, uh, happens, I was at the office all evening yesterday, preparing my latest article. I did not observe Big Ben at all, and I'm afraid to say that my own investigation is just getting underway. I have nothing <laughs> too important at the present time. I see. Well, thank you anyway. I wish you all the best with your ongoing investigation activities, of course. Likewise, sir. Good luck with yours. Hand hiccup for iconic Big Bang, petty crime or international conspiracy. Alarm bells ring across Britain. Aha, stories like these write themselves, huh? Yeah, meffings. It's gonna be a smasher. Miffings? It certainly is. If we don't solve this before the stop story breaks, there will be all kinds of repercussions. You're right, we must press on with our investigation. Okay, so we got one of the hour glasses. Time for a spoonful of chili. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, that was a spicy spoon. Well, how long it's been, would you say? What's this name? Stage and Scarf? How long? I'm sorry, do we know each other? I'm fairly sure I'm never, I've never met you before, sir. Know each other? In a way, yes. In a way, no. Or oh, there's probably one of those old people who will come up to you. Oh, you've grown so much! When I, when I uh, still lived um, in the city, I was... Yeah, he's creepy, right? Where I was born, um, my family was pretty known. Where my grandma and my grandpa were pretty known. And I looked like my dad. And everybody knew my dad. 
and his parents and his siblings and like well it, it wasn't a, it was a really small city so everybody knew everybody and there were so many old people coming up to me and were like um, oh my gosh you look so much like your dad you grew up so much I remember when you were just a baby and I would, I, I would be like haha ah, yeah okay who the fuck are you? Like, oh my gosh, it was so annoying. Like, who are these people? Like, don't go to strangers and talk. Like, even though I'm not a stranger to you, you are the stranger to me. Because, like you just said, the last time you saw me was when I was a baby. Do you think a baby remembers all of that? So it was so weird. <laughs> okay, good. I'm not alone with this. <laughs> That's good. Well, kind of. It's so like it's so weird. I think it's scarves too tight. Yeah, yeah. Charles is probably right. People are like leaves washed along in the river. Sometimes meeting, sometimes parting. You've rather lost me, I'm afraid. I um, don't suppose you've you, you noticed anything about the Elizabeth Tower last night, did you? When you grow up in a village, it's not right. But it's I, it should not be normal. <laughs> I know it's normal, but it should not be. Like, please don't come to me and talk to me. If the last time you saw me was when I was a fucking baby. Like, why can you not just leave me alone? I don't know you. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, yes, true. Yeah, like I don't know. Talk to my parents, but not to me. <laughs> I was already dreaming sweetly by nightfall yesterday. You are an early sleeper, are you? So you wouldn't have seen anything. <laughs> you said all you wanted. I tell you what. How about a little puzzle to occupy the mind? I say. A puzzle? The world is full of puzzle, Ernest. Sometimes during the course of investigation, people do come out with puzzles for you to solve. It's all part of the process. So let's see what sort of puzzles puzzle we're dealing with here. Okay, let's see. Spoonful of... Hmm? I don't know why they are putting like the um that would be kinda interesting in real life. Right? Walking around and suddenly someone is like, Oh I have a puzzle for you. I would like that. That would be awesome. Okay, but I still still I don't know why is there the this box with the instructions and look, it's exactly the same that's What's this? Select the answer frame to display the input screen for for entering letters and numbers. After confirming, you'll see what you have written appear in the answer frame. To change the answer, simply select the answer frame again. I think I got it. Like, as I was saying, I don't get it why they put the instructions like this. Why they put it in like this big window all over the screen if they do it over here? Like, why? Let me check on this. The clock is currently showing the time at 3.30 p.m. It would be nice if the hands of the clock would show midnight. What would be the minimum number of minimum number of places you'd need to touch on the clock to show the desired time? I don't understand that question. I don't understand that question. 
clock is currently showing the time as 3.30 p.m. It would be nice if the hands on the clock would show midnight. What would be the minimum number of places you need to touch the clock to show this desired number? Wouldn't it be one? You only have to touch the hand, so it must be two or three. Yeah, but but I think it's it's one. You should like you can just use the the minute hand and like if you go all the way around and around and around and around, the hour hand will just move on its own, right? I think it's one, but two would make sense as well. Okay, let's let's. Oh wait, do we have to do like? Like this? This is an interesting one. Oh no! What's the matter with me today? Hmm. Bad luck. Hmm. How to get the glad clock to show midnight? Can you think of a way? Try again. We don't need a hint. Not yet. It would be too sad if we do it now. But then it must be, must be two, right? Mm, this should do it, I think. No. What's the matter with me today? Okay, it's for real. Uh, what the fuck? We we were both wrong. So, um, which means, like, what the fuck? There should be like I don't know, but. Like there should be um I don't know if you can see it but look at look at um this there is this hole in the side and there is this little key over here so I don't know if it's just to wind it up so like it's running without electricity um and you wind it up like the really old clocks or if this is to change the the time. Like, and I don't want to use any hints because, like, it's only the second puzzle. We cannot use hints on the second puzzle. It's that's not. I don't know. So maybe it's zero because it's the, not the clock itself. Oh! That would make sense. Oh, 
Oh no! Poor Lilo. I've seen how to solve this now. <gasps> you got it! You got it! You did it! There was no need to touch the clock at all. All you need to do was wait for midnight to come. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. That was real book. <laughs> um Okay. Take good care of Lilo. Like I don't know why she she threw up, but I like I don't know. Maybe she I don't know when you fed her, but maybe she ate too fast. That happens a lot. And give her some head pads from me. Very impressive. Le impressive. Let's hope you tackle all the puzzles you are going to face so convincingly. I will sure do so. Thank you. We've investigated all we can around here. I suggest we head closer to the tower. To the scene of the crime at last. I say, this is rather exciting. I love Ernest. I love him. He's, he's just a cute little baby. Ah, I need to explain to you how we move around during investigations, don't I? I'm sorry, you were telling me you need to explain Ernest how to walk? I know she's explaining it to us, but it sounds like she's explaining Ernest how to walk. Like... Um... <laughs> He's, he's not my type from his looks, but his personality is just the cutest. He's like, I don't know, um, he has golden retriever energy. At the bottom right of the screen in investigation mode, you'll see a shoe button. Pressing that or Y switches from investigation mode to relocation mode. The orange flashing mark show, markers show points on the map where we can move to. Pick a location you'd like us to visit and press A over it to display some information about the place in question. Then simply press A a second time or press move to go ahead and move to, and move to that location. And ex an exclamation mark at the particular place indicates that you should head there next, for the good of the investigation. It looks like we can get inside the Elizabeth Tower from the entrance there. So let's head over and see what we can find out. Oh look how cute that is! Let's see, do we find some more coins? There it is. Got a coin. Okay, there's nothing left. Some over here, no. What? Okay, we have to be really careful with the... <laughs> ah! I move so fast. Nothing there, nothing there. We already talked to them. There was some. There, 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 over there, over there, over there. Oh. Okay, no. Use the direction. Oh, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, please shut the fuck up. Thank you. I wanted to press this one. Move. Move. 
The entrance of the clock tower looks to be over there. Ooh, the police officers seem to be examining something. Let's ask him what they've found. Hello, 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 Miss Layton. <laughs> Inspector Hastings has instructed us to give you full cooperation. Wonderful, so I don't need to explain. Could you just tell us what you've found out so far? I'd be glad to, miss. We have ascertained that on the night in question, that being last night, you don't say, <laughs> there was no one here. No one at all? Not even janitor or something? Correct. There, there is a room behind the large clock face down, known as the clock room. However, this room is locked now overnight. So is the clock tower always empty overnight? Except for when work, works are ongoing. Yes, when the servicemen are in, they sometimes work late apparently. But last night the serviceman knocked off early it seems. So there was no one around who might have seen the thief. Sorry, not not to have better news for you. Oh, you don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault that you didn't figure out shit now. Like, it just happened last night. Okay, we talked to him. Let's see. Is there some coins hidden in the grass? Oh, in the tree. There's something, there's something. I saw it. I saw it. He got a coin. We got another one. There's something more. We got another riddle. One, two, one, two. Oh, hi there. Perfect weather for a run, isn't it? No. There's not such a thing as perfect weather for a run. It must be a pleasant pla place to for jogging here, with all the green space. Yes, I love it. I've done 50 laps already today. 50? Um, I didn't even leave my apartment today. I moved maybe 20 meters today. 50? Yeah, that's how I read. I'm good one. By the way, uh, I'm Gudrun, by the way. Maybe good run. <laughs> uh, I've been running in cities all around the world. I just can't get enough. I like marathons and other events, but ordinary city streets are my favorite places to run. I just love exercising as I watch other people are going about their business. I'm sorry, but what kind of weirdo are you? I like doing puzzles to exercise my brain too and to keep my mind off the aching muscles. I just came across a great one actually. Try it! Bubble Blast! <laughs> oh, I cannot read that. Give me a second, I have to change the window because I cannot read that. Okay, shoot bubbles from the cannon to burst all of the bubbles floating in the air. To pop bubbles, you need to form a chain linking bubbles of the same number horizontally and or vertically. The chain must contain at least as many bubbles as the number displayed on the bubbles in it. Press and hold A to pick up, uh, up a bubble. Press and hold A to pick up a bubble and move it into an empty space. Ammo is replenished. Replenished? Oh, okay. After each shot, 
but you need to burst all the bubbles within the maximum shot shot limit. Okay. I think I can do that. Oh. To position an object in a new location, press and hold A over it. We already learned that. In some puzzles you can use L or R while you have A pressed down to rotate the object currently holding. Okay. Bubbles on the left are the ones that have not been fired yet. Press and hold A over the bubbles, pick it up and move it. If you move a bubble over the board and then release A, the bubble will be fired into the into the cannon into the square where you place it. The numbers displayed on the cannon shows the numbers of shots you have. Bubbles you have shot your you have shot already are replenished so you can shoot bubbles of the same number multiple times. There's a limit to the total number of shots the cannon cut can fire though. Okay, I don't get it. Let's try. Ah, okay. Is it five in a row? Oh, oh, what? Well. It is, it is, it is. Oh no, it's not five in a row. Oh, I won't make it, I won't make it. Maybe, no I won't. I'm missing exactly one. Yeah, if I put the four in here, I need one more. Oh, I can take them back. <gasps> That's awesome. Okay, so. Let's go about this a bit differently. Okay, okay, this is not good. No, oh, that's that's not working as well. So my first attempt at the game was probably the best so far. Like I I I only did two attempts. But still So I can take out like this and put this one here. I think we got it. We did it! We did it! This should do it, I think. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Awesome. You did it. All the bubbles have popped. You don't get the order, right? You run off of shots. Yeah, I noticed that.
Yes, that's it. Nice one. One, two, one, two. All right, I'm ready to push on. Beat the pain. Ah, good luck. I'm going to stay in London for a while, I think. There are lots of places around the city where I'd like to run. I'm sorry guys, <coughs> I almost choked on my bread. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Bye then. Oh gosh. No. Hello, Miss, um, let me see. Oh yes, that's right, Miss Layton. Inspector Hastings, has, Inspector Hastings mentioned you. Here, um, uh, yes, here it is. You're assisting us, uh, assisting with our investigations, I see. So we are to share information and resources. Thank you, officer. That will be very helpful. Another on the ball detective, is it? Yes, this is DC Nick Bukas? Bukas? One of the Inspector Hastings men. Nick Bukas? Thrown into to the profession, was he? I don't get it. Is this some sort of pun I'm, I'm not getting? Perhaps you'd be so kind as to tell us what you've learned as about the case so far. Yes, well, according to our inquiry, inquiries, it seems there's been an outbreak of, um, ah yes, a mental, mental theft in the capitals recently. Metal, uh, metal theft? Um, yes, I think that's what it says here. Yes, metal being stolen from factories and warehouses. Really? What on earth would anyone steal pieces of metal for? Some metals are valuable, Ernest, and thieves can sell scra scrap made from the, them for a high price. Yes, according to my notes here, the missing clock hands was made of... Um, ah yes, here it is. A very valuable metal that would fetch a good price if sold. Yeah, what kind of metal would be nice to know? <laughs> so we are continuing along this line of investigation. I see. Metal theft. Well, thank you for your help, DC Booker. Don't mention it, madam. I'm just doing what, if, what it says here in my notebook. Why do they steal good music? <laughs> Well, <laughs> apparently you can good um, can make good money with it. <laughs> oh, we got another clue. Okay, where where does it belong? It's it's it was literally in the right place. Okay. According to DC Booker Booker, I have no fucking idea how to pronounce that. There has been a recent spate of metal thefts in the capital. Certain types of scrap metals uh, sell for s considerable sums of money. Awesome. Now we have spoken to the investigate. Now we've spoken to the investigating officers. I think it's time we had a look inside the clock tower. But it's locked, isn't it? Should we talk to PC Beato? <laughs> Beat? Be Be How the fuck do you pronounce that one? Do you think? We would call him Beato. Excuse me, Beato. Would you be so good as to allow us entry into the clock tower? Why, yes, of course. Inspector Hastings gave us instructions to cooperate fully with you, Miss Layton. Step right in. Thank you. We'll all come in if we may. I must warn you, it's one long staircase when you get inside. I hope your leg muscles are working. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, I would. that would be my reaction if someone told me there are a lot of stairs. That would be exactly my reaction. <laughs> uh. <coughs> 
Let me just change position. Uh, oh. I think it lost track. Yeah, it lost track because I changed position. There I am. Look at that. We can go inside, inside the tower. What a lot of stairs, my feet are killing me. <gasps> like, I, have, I live on the second floor, okay? And I die almost every time I walk up my stairs. Just imagine how I would react if I would be climbing these stairs. I would fucking die. Ernest? Griefs, you should be ashamed of yourself. Getting tired out of out so easily. <laughs> You're panting harder than he is. Shut the fuck up, Cheryl. Oh look, it's spectacular. I've never seen the inter internals of the clock tower before. Magnificent. Being inside such a huge and important landmark like this is rather splendid, the, isn't it? clock face and the cogs are so enormous. Yes, it's quite exciting being allowed inside a place that's off limits for most people. Alright you two, get over yourselves. Ah, I've just remembered something I forgot to mention before. Oh, what, what, what's that? Sometimes as you're investigating you come across something unexpected. Unexpected, Mets? Yes, as you are moving the magnifying glass around, you might notice a pe peculiar disturbance in some places. Like a puff of dust, almost. When that happens, be sure to investigate, investigate so, uh, thoroughly, even if the magnifying glass hasn't turned orange. Look hard enough and you'll be sure to be rewarded. rewarded. So make sure you investigate all those nooks and crannies carefully. Let's give it a try now. Well, we already know where it is. You've discovered the reddish wrist wristwatch. It's been added to your collection. The collection box, box has been added to Catrio's bag. There you can peruse items that you found during the course of your investigation. The items are unrelated to any particular case, they, they're just for fun, so enjoy them at your le leisure. Oh, okay. You never know what you might find while you are hunting for clues, so leave no stone unturned, Ernest. Not one, Miss Layton. <laughs> well, very good. So let's get back to the task at hand. Ah, I think perhaps... That's a serviceman over there. Look. Oh yes, you're right. Let's go and ask him if he has any useful information for us. The collection fe feature has been added to Cat's bag. Okay. Let's see. We found a coin. Very good. There, 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 there. I'm going to ignore this dude just for a moment. The mecha mechani mechanism is vast as well, isn't it? And it keeps ticking, it's despite being one a hand down. It's lucky there are three other faces showing the correct time. People of London rely on Big Ben to know the time. Oh, okay. I thought I might get something out of it. Well, stop it, not so fast. The clock faces are, are so vast, it's... Oh, okay, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary. Would be weird if there was. 
Oh, there's another one. <gasps> it's a puzzle! Both heads present are and correct on this face at, at least. That would be a good puzzle, wouldn't it? I'm a face, but I have no eyes, no ears and no mouth. I do have hands, however. What am I? As it happens, well, there's a different puzzle here. Look, do you want to try it? Well, I'm the personal assistant of the great detective Miss Catriel Layton, so I ought to tackle a puzzle or two from time to time. Okay, I have to switch screens really quick because I cannot read that. A new design of house allows a new design of house allows you to arrange the floors however you like. Just select the building to hold off the topmost floor with the grain and move it to another plot of land. Your task is to make all the houses look as they appear on the plans. On the plans. However, houses can only have up to four floors max. I'm confused. Oh, I, I, I think I got it. I made a mistake. Okay. I have a feeling that perhaps... That's a relief. I wasn't entirely sure. Okay, that was easy. You did it. Both houses look spot on. Good for pinstripes. You're clawing back some respect here. Why, thank you, Cheryl. While merely a personal assistant to Miss Layton, I do hope to prove myself useful in the puzzle-solving department. I really don't remember saying I wanted a personal assistant. Oh dear, Miss, please don't reject me. <laughs> okay, I think now we can talk to him. Hey, what are you doing inside? No entry to public. It's alright, I'm from the Leighton Detective Agency. The police have given us permission to investigate here. You're a serviceman for the Great Glock, I take it? No, yes, I'm Hans. Hans Lipsky. Lipsky, yeah, Lipsky. If this is for missing if this is for missing hand, I already said to police everything I know. The people are drilling a hole in my belly. I have a feeling that he's speaking with an accent. Well, I'm sorry to ask you to repeat yourself, but would you mind telling us what you told the police, Mr. Lipsky? Lipsky? 
Ken lips ski. Haha. <laughs> he can't have his name show. There's nothing for telling. When hand went missing, I was already at my home. I don't know anything. You went home early yesterday, I understand. Day before I was working until after midnight fixing this clock, so yesterday I go home early. Was there anything unusual about the hand that was taken? It wasn't loose or misaligned or anything. No, I fixed it only two days ago, like I tell you. When I put back, I make sure it's good fixed on. I see. So there's no chance that the hand dropped off then. Slipped out of your hands, perhaps. Police already investigate everything. In here, around the clock face, but they find nothing and they have no have gone now. Yes, tell me, Mr. Lipsky, when did you notice that the hand was missing? Same time like everyone else, when I look out the window in the morning, I see missing hand. Oh, so where you live is inside of the clock tower. And inside of the face with a missing hand I see. No, yes, I'm living close to here, on Chancer Lane. Gosh, how extraordinary, it's the same street that the HD is on. It's strange that we didn't notice the hand was missing ourselves. Exactly, I'm sure I remember seeing it when I looked at the clock tower this morning. Because you were looking at different face, it depends on where you are living. Clock Tower serviceman Hans Lipsky claims that he confirmed the hour hand was firmly reattached after he repaired the day before yesterday. Really, apart from the missing hand, hour hand, nothing seems to be out of, out of place. Golly, there are no clues at all. <clears throat> I would have expected to see some trace of the crime after all. It's such a large object to make off with. We need more information. Let's go back down to the ground. There's something I'd like to ask Inspector Hastings. I knew this time would come. The descent. It's alright for you, but I'm taking my life in my paws climbing down the streets. Uh, the stairs. <laughs> ah yes, with your short little legs. Is she, is she bullying him? <laughs> Get off. No, no, sure. It's safer this way. Ernest will carry you down, won't you, Ernest? I will. Hey, what did you pull that face for? I haven't got fleas, you know. I I didn't pull a face. Come on along. Come along, no arguing. Just treat careful. Just treat carefully, Ernest. Yes, miss. Oh, I got a daily bonus. You've earned some fashion farthings. Huh. Once per day you can obtain fashion farthings via the daily bonus. You can use fashion farthings you've saved up in the wardrobe section of Cat's Bag to purchase outfits. Be careful of changing the Nintendo Switch console system time. However, because you won't be able to obtain the daily bonus for a short while if you do so. You might also uncover fashion farthings during the course of your investigations around London. So keep your eyes eyes peeled. Not me really. Right? <laughs> right. That's why I, 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 I was like far things. Because I was like uh, did I did I read that correctly? <laughs> okay let's let's go down. Well, no, first I want to look at, look at what we all, how about we save, it would probably not be too bad. What's this? Why can I not tap it? Ah, okay. 
No, 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 we're not. I just wanted to get the the. Get back. Let's look at our collection. Have a look at all of this exciting. Have a look at all the exciting items you've collected while you've been detecting. Reddish wristwatch. An unusual color watch that takes some wearing. Nice. That's all. If you think it's time Katria put her current outfit in the wash, select change to have her put on something else from her wardrobe. Pick out an outfit for Katria and then press A or the change button to have her change into it. Can have Kat give you a, a slow twirl and expect it's bad. You can have Kat give you a slow twirl and inspect her get up more closely with X and Y. The outfit Katria is currently wearing is tagged with this label. Select exchange to buy new outfits. After picking out an outfit to buy, press A or select exchange to part with some fashion far things and make the outfit yours. You come across fashion far things while you're investigating, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay, let's see. Do we have more than... Oh, we have more than one outfit! I love it! That looks great, I think. I think... I like... I like the orange one. We keep the orange one. Can we afford? We have four far things. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we can we can dress up Shrall. He will kill us if we put him in this outfit. <laughs> Sorry, I had to drink something. Okay, let's see. No, I don't like that. Gorgeous. <laughs> I, I think you mean Sherl with gorgeous, right? Because I think it is. Wait, oh my gosh, there's more, there's more. They look all terrible. <sighs> Let's see. I like that she has uh, different hairstyles with uh, some of the outfits oh that's cute oh we can zoom in oh no it's not cute now that it's zoomed in it's not cute anymore christmas outfit are those yeah it's pajamas that's cute what the fuck is this that's okay. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. I like that. That's okay. Nah. That's better, but nah. Dating dress. That's actually pretty cute. I don't like that. I just googled for a thing. It's a coin worth of a quarter of a penny and it's, it's a cute little birdie on... Wait, what? It's worth a... It's a coin worth a quarter of a penny. But is a penny not like one cent or something? So it's it's probably more of like a... F I, I did not expect it to be real. Like... I didn't like not expect it to be like a real thing. And I thought they made it up for, for the game. But that's awesome. I can just put my chili to the side because I finished now. That's so cool. A 
and we learned something new today. Look at how cute I am! Well, it's cat, but still, I am cat. <laughs> There's Inspector Hastings. Look, even from this distance, I can see his furrows and his brows. Perhaps his investigation isn't going very well, miss. Okay, so we have the creepy old man. We have nothing new, if you ask me. Okay. Ah, Cash, what have you got for me? Who did it then? Who is the culprit? He, he, he thinks we already solved it? Please, Inspector, calm down. I'm still in the middle of my investigation. Oh, I see. I have a quick question for you, actually. According to Mr. Lipsky, who, your officers examined the clock face. Is that right? Yeah, of course. I had them check the clock room, the clock face, and all around the outside as well. But there are no clues, no fingerprints, nothing. There's really, there really are no traces at all, are there? Well, I had them take samples for, from the floor and the walls, and from the clock face. They've been analyzed back at the yard now. When will be the results be ready? Shouldn't be much longer. So what's your next move? I think we'll head back to Chancellor's Lane. Chancellor Lane. We will? You mean we're going back to the office, Miss Layton? You cannot do that. We haven't got anything yet. I need your full attention on this case, Cat. Inspector Hastings, please. You must, mustn't be so blinkered. Sometimes you have to take a step back in, your, in order to, to see things for what they really are. I think she is going to check if Mr. Lipsky is, talk, is, is telling us the truth. Because if he's, he could be lying, like if Cat and Ernest didn't see. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Didn't see the, the missing hand. How could he see the missing hand? Is that so? Yes, so if you'll excuse us. Hey, you're not serious. Are you sure leaving a scene is the best idea, Cat? Yes, of course. Come along now. You two, let's get back to the Chancellor Lane. It's no distant. We'll be there in a jiffy on the bike. Oh yes, I should, ex should explain how we move around during an investigation. Hey, I thought we already know how to move. Examine the bike with a magnifying glass is the best way to cover longer distances. Select the destination and either press A or the move button to head that way. Oh, and you can also press plus or go by bicycle in relocation mode as well. It works in just the same way. The next place to visit in terms of the investigation is highlighted with an exclamation mark in relocation mode. So your trusty bicycle will come in handy in investigation mode and relocation mode then, Miss Layton? Splendid! Precisely, so back to Chancellor Lane it is. Chancellor Lane Corner. Well, here we are. Chancellor Lane Corner. There are a lot of interesting shops around here, aren't there? It's such a lively space. We're here for a mini break, are we? Good idea. First, let's have some something to eat. Eh? You know the old maxim. The old maxim. A rambling tummy is a detective's downfall. Good to know. Good to know. No one says that. Of course they do. Well, they should do anyway. They should now. Thinking about it, I don't know the street very well. 
even though it's where the agency is located. This is the perfect opportunity to have a stroll down the lane and get better acquainted with our neighborhood. Walkies? Eh? Well, at least I don't have to be on, on the lead. Okay, so let's see if we find some coins. Over here. Ah! Okay, no. Can you stop talking? Thank you. Ah! You've discovered the perplexing per preserve. It's been added to your collection. Oh, okay, nice. It's kind of um, insulting if the preserve is with an old lady. Um, just saying. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking for coins, so. I wanna, I want all, oh, there, there was nothing. I want all the coins. I think there are like around two coins. Oh, three coins. Okay, so I think maximum three coins per map. Oh, look, what a lovely terrace area this restaurant has. Why does his face look like this? Ciao, Bella. Can I take your order, Signorina? Thank you. I have no idea if I. Think Signorina, like, is that even correct? Golly, he's a little over familiar, isn't he? Just before we order, I wonder if I could ask you something. Has there been anything unusual happening around here recently? Anything unusual? Hmm. Well, a lot of cutlery has been going missing lately. Forks and spoons and things. Oh yes, and a silver tray as well. You mean they were stolen? I cannot say. There were no signs of breaking and entering, and no cash taken, so it doesn't seem like a burglary exactly. I see. Well, thank you now. Would, you, would it be alright if I ordered? I'd like a squid ink spaghetti with a fetid herb salad on the side, please. Sounds delicious. I'm not sure about that. And then, the chef's ominous omelette special. The Hellfire Risotto and the Mushroom Surprise Gnocchi, please. All at the same time. And they say dogs have eyes bigger than their bellies. For a minute, they actually thought you were attempting some, some serious sleuth work. What did I just tell you, Sherl? An empty stomach is a detective's worst enemy. Oh, okay, I, I must go and write all that down before I forget. Cutlery and other, other silverware has been going missing at a restaurant on Chancellor Lane, possibly related to the recent metal thefts in the capital. Ah, this place serves the best seafood in town, so it does. I've sailed seven seas and this place tops them all. Now I've had a belly full, I suppose. I should be heading. Gotta get back to work. Let's see what time Big Ben got. Ah, oh, good. At least it's it's not the Ben Jack's clock face in view from here. That would have been just my luck, especially seeing as how I'm after losing me watch and everything. I really rely on the old clock tower now. Gosh, the missing hand of the clock is already inconveniencing people, it seems. Exactly, which is why we need to be pushing 
on with the investigation, not not sampling every dish on the menu. But like that's the road where the the Mr. Lipsky lives and where the agency is, right? And the agency, like Cat and Ernest, didn't notice that the the hand was missing. And this dude did just confirm that if you are on this road, you can see the the clock face with both hands. So there's no no hand missing on the face that's that's facing the street. So how did Mr. Lipsky see that the hand was missing? He has something to do with it, right? Ah, that was absolutely delicious. I do believe I may be full. You may? Maybe. <laughs> you just ate for four. Stop making out that I'm a glutton. Glutton? 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 You and Ernest shared the food too. Yes, and it was yummy. <laughs> well, anyway, shouldn't we be getting back to the investigation now? That's me. <laughs> I would be the same. I would be the same. <laughs> like, I ate my chili and you can't believe me. Like, in an hour, I will start eating again. <laughs> Good idea, Shell. You simply have to recover the hand before Ambassador Fudu Fafa. Before Ambassador Fudu Fafa's visit tomorrow. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've satisfi satisfi satisfied our appetites, yes. But now we've enjoyed a meal. There's something that must come before anything else. Dessert. I feel that. I feel that. Do you want more? Of course. If there's dessert, you have to get it. Well, there's a nice looking cake shop further up the street. Yes, you're right, Ernest. I've admired their cakes through the window for a lot for too long. I'd already made up my mind to pay the place a visit before long. This is perfect excuse. Uh. We're never going to find that hand in time. Hmm, <sighs> <sighs> smell that deli delicious sweet scent. Seeing all these tasty treats lined up before my eyes is making my tummy rumble. You're hungry after that 10 course meal. Haha, <laughs> you know what they say, Shirl. There's always room for dessert. Now let's investigate all the tempting offerings they have on sale. How about investigating the case? Oh, I say, that pastry chef looks awfully familiar. Do we know him from somewhere? Hello, looking for, looking to take little something on the tooth, eh? But you can't decide what? Ah, uh, you're the salesman from the clock tower. No, he's not. It's a, it's probably the twin brother or something. <laughs> That's it. Yes, it's Mr. Lipsky. Again. So you run a cake shop as well as being a techni uh, technician for the clock in the Elizabeth Tower. You must be rather busy. Of course I do not. I'm Alex Lipsky. Running a patisserie um, is my only job. You mistake me with my twin brother Hans. He's working in Big Ben, not me. Oh, I see. You have a twin. Well, that explains it. How extraordinary. Bumping into both of you on the same day. And how interesting that you've both gone into such different lines of work. Ah, no, yes. At first, maybe Baker and Technic look poles apart but there are more similarities than you think really what kind of similar i, I want to know like what the fuck no no way <laughs> we must both be good with hands we have always had skills to work with complicated things since we are young boys 
My Bratsky, Bratsy work with clocks. My Bratsky, Bratsy works with clocks. I work with cakes, but we both must work with our hands and our hands in the same way. Heads and our hands, I'm sorry. It does sound like you've both chosen very difficult professions. No, yes, anyway, you're coming here to buy cakes, not to talk, I think. Please take a look and tell me what you want. Thank you, we will. We'll have a good look around at everything. What a strange place to find a big teddy bear like this. It's so sweet, isn't it? But then, it is a sweet shop, haha. <laughs> That was terrible, Ernest. No, it was not. It was good. <laughs> Truly terrible. Oh, come on, Shawl. You, you two have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, anyway, I suppose it's just here as decoration, is it? No, Ernest, I mean, it's absolutely awful. Truly awful. But you'll just have to grin and bear it. Oh, wait a minute though. There's something strange about this bear. Wh what? Ah, that's not bear. That's one of my cakes. Really? It's not a real bear. I, I had no idea. You can't tell at all. It's so realistic. Is everything in here actually one of your creations? No, yes, everything you see in my shop is cake or pastry made by me to look something like from everyday life. Well, I can see that you have a rare talent, Mr. Lipsky. It is, it is, it is my fun to see how much, like, real thing I can make my creation. I use all different ingredients from around the world to make things look exactly the li like life. At this moment, I experiment with water. Well, your efforts are certainly paying off, Mr. Lipsky. These creations are capital. No, yes, my customer like it. They want these cakes to for presents for their friends. And for parties. Bears made mostly from water as well. And ice are... F they are cho uh, sh 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 They are chocolate. <laughs> wow, I'm so impressed. Let's have more of a look around, miss. Ah. You've discovered the multicolored macaroon. It's been added to your collection. Nice. Found a coin. Mr. Lipsky said that all the ornaments and decoration in the shop were cakes that he'd made, didn't he? Which presumably means that these flowers aren't real flowers, doesn't it? Yes, you're quite right, Ernest. On close inspection, they are actually made from icing sugar or something. I wonder what they taste like. Mr. said no, you can't possibly take a bite out of such beautiful made objects. <laughs> Oh, the clock is cake as well. That's a plain, that explains why the hands aren't turning. It is really hard to tell, isn't it? I genuinely thought it was a real clock at first. Coin. Mm. There, wait, what's that? There, there, I, I saw it. Oh. Look at that girl. Cute little girl. These cakes are simply divine and the beautiful and, and so beautifully presented. Alex really is so talented. He can make a cake in any shape you can care to think of, you know. He should participate in it. Yeah! Yeah, he should. He would win this game. It all looks so sum sumptuous. Sumptuous? I have no idea if I said that correctly. I can never decide what to buy. I think I have. I have one of these. No. Yes. No. Yes. Or, or, or maybe. Ah. Uh, no. Yes. When I come here, I always end up mimicking the charming way Alex speaks. 
I would not say that it's charming, but okay. Have you made your decision? Oh, it's so hard. Everything in here looks so tasty. By the way, Mr. Lipsky, did you know that the hand, uh, the hour hand of one of the clocks in the Elizabeth Tower has gone missing? No, yes, I know. Of course, Mr. Pratz Pratzi is worried about this. Yes, Hans said he was hoping to have it repaired as soon as possible. He cannot relax if clocks are not running as they, as they should. No, naturally, I understand he how he feels. So... To show. Press and hold A to pack up scraps of paper and move it around in the frame. Take care not to overlap any pieces and note that you can't move the pieces that are already in position. You can flip scraps of paper over by pressing L or R while you're holding the item. Wait, did, it, did that just... did that work? No, oh, I did not. Okay, so... That's not it. Hmm. Ah. 
this over here. Go out of my way. Why is... There's something really wrong with it when I put it over here. It's not like... Okay, so it's just a normal puzzle, but it's still... Ah, uh, okay, no. Look at that. Oh, now I get it. Oh, yeah, that took way too long. I've seen how to solve this now. Nice, we did it. You did it. I have to change screen because I cannot see anything. Putting the pieces of paper back together showed a recipe for some bread in, in the shape of a squid. On the back is something that looks like the hand of a clock. You can see what it's not what it is now. Hmm, it looks like some kind of recipe for squid bread apparently. Uh, that sounds really unappetizing even to me, and I'm a dog. Look at the back though. What's on the back? There's something brown on the back as well. Let's see. It's the missing hand of the Elizabeth Towers clock. And there's instruction about how to make it too. It's a blueprint, miss. What's it? What the devil is a blueprint of a hand of Big Ben doing in the rubbish bin of Alex Lipsky's patisserie? Hmm. I think we keep hold of the particular piece of rubbish. A uh, cat stealing from the bin? Isn't that? Isn't that a bit of a cliche? This could be quite a clue, Cheryl. I think it's safe to assume it's no longer something Mr. Lipsky wants. Oh, and here it is, is the man himself. Look. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here is your Lipsky special prof profiteroles. Oh, thank you so much. No, yes, thank you. I hope I see you again sometime. I'm sure that you will. Goodbye now. Good. Now we've taken care of the dessert. I think it's time we had it back. Is this plan to replace the hand by a hand shape? Okay. That would be something, but I don't know if cake would hold its shape if we put it up on the big band tower. Hmm. But he has. I'm pretty sure he has something to do with it. And his brother. Like. It's. Like, it's too random that his brother is the mechanic of the clock and he has this kind of, of paper in his um, shop it's way too suspicious clock and blueprint Pieced together from scraps of paper found in the rubbish bin in Lipsky's patisserie, sketched on the back of a recipe, recipe, sketched on the back of a recipe was a drawing of the clock hand. I think that's it. If 
finding it hard to believe this teddy bear is actually made from water. Yeah, I think we got everything. Alright, Cat, where, where to next? You've done the restaurant and the cake shop. Please tell me you're full now. <laughs> yes, I couldn't eat another thing. So, let's carry on down Chancellor Lane. If we keep heading north, we'll arrive back at the office. Oh, I know what you're thinking, miss. We're stopping in for a quick strategy meeting, aren't we? To discuss our next move. Wrong. There's a lovely little boutique shop next to the latent detective agency. I thought we could have a peek. Have a peek? A boutique shop, miss? Alright, that's enough, cat. Get your mind back on the job. Come on, Ernest. Back me up here. Well, if Miss Layton wants to find even more delightful clothes to wear, then I'm on it. I'm for it, actually. <laughs> He's such a simp. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, give me uh, give me strange, 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 strange. I cannot talk anymore. <laughs> Come along, the boutique awaits. We did check everything over here, right? Yeah, I think. Oh, wait. Eh. Move. Well, here we are, said so Let Detective Agency. Um, where's this boutique shop? It's just next door, come along. Uh, are you really a detective? I'm starting to have my doubts. Will it be open, do you think, miss? Perhaps it's closed for the day. It is just a small shell. Hmm. You could be right, Ernest. Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> oh, oh. We found ten hint coins. <laughs> It's not bad. Look, a kitty cat. It's green. <laughs> and it's a puzzle. Mm. Oh, I love a cat. It looks like a stray. It looks like it's on crack. If you ask me. <laughs> I don't know what kind of drugs it's taking, but this cat does take something. Perhaps it's lost, do you think? Poor mite. Well, we'll have to help it find, it find its mother. It does not look like a baby. It does not need a mother. <sighs> this is a ladder lottery. You need to add horizontal lines to it in order to reunite the lost ones with their mothers. What is the minimum amount of horizontal lines you need to add? Select the box to input your answer. For the explanation on how letter lottery works, press X or select the menu button underneath the puzzle picture. I think I know how it works. And I know how that works as well. Yeah, like like I said, I know what it is. So, okay, so to... Oh, okay, I, w I was like, hey, am, I, am I just stupid or like, because like I saw the two blues birdies right above each other and I was like, huh? But they are like, no. Okay, so we need at least two over there. One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two. We need to wait one, two, three, four. We need at least four to get to the little four. Oh, that's a hard one. We need we need at least four to to reunite the fawn with its mother. So that would be enough to get the monkey to its mom. That's. I think five. I think five. It could be wrong. Oh, wait. I was. I think five. What do you think? Five or six, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm sorry, I have to eat some chocolate. I think four. Now that would not make sense because like, if we add four, we would get like, Because like the birdie needs at least two for its own. No man should stop it. Like mm, you know if you have one line in one direction the body birdie needs another one to the other side so it can get back. So it has to be at least five. Okay, let's just try it. Could be wrong. I have a feeling that perhaps. Thank goodness I got that right. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. Okay, I imagined it a little bit different, but yeah, you did it. They all look very pleasant to see their mothers. There are several ways to place the five horizontal lines. Meow meow. I don't think it was lost at all. No, I'm sure you're right, miss. It doesn't actually look like a kitten. I was worrying for nothing. Why is he in a bunny suit? Like, what are these weird people? going way way up. Did not expect it. The clock face you can see from here has its forehand, our hand intact. Yeah, it's kind of weird that like the mechanic and the bakery dude like they're brothers and like it's it's kind of suspicious well not not just kind of it is suspicious like really suspicious 
Oh, were you hoping to buy something in the Lucky Clover? Well, I was hoping to browse at least. Of course you were, my dear. It's running by a lady called Clover Price. She manages the place all on her own, you know. She stocks the most beautiful clothes and the hats and accessories are delightful too. But since it's just her running the place, her opening hours are rather hit and miss. She's very lucky to be able to pick and, and choose when she works. She really is a lucky clover. You don't know anything about her cat. Keep your muscle out of other people's businesses. Why is he so angry? What is this hair? I think you find this place was empty until recently, but someone set up shop here now. Late detective agency, it says on the sign, see? Open bracket. In other words, a snoop service. Close bracket. You can't trust detectives if you ask me. They are as bad as the master crimin criminals. They are supposed to investigate. Well, what? But you can't trust the Latin name. The agency's motto is any mystery solved. I make it my personal mission to get to the bottom of any and every conundrum that my clients throw at me. You're the detectives? Oh, Bob, you're such an idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. <laughs> it's alright, please feel free to come in for a consultation if you are anything, if there's anything you, we might be able to help with. He needs a hairdresser, a new one, as soon as possible. San Crios famous pon popon Poponios. Special prize just for you. See? Poponios. Pop Poponios? Oh, I'm sure I've seen you before somewhere, loitering around suspiciously. I'm not suspicious. I'm Benny. Anyone wearing an outfit like that needs treating that needs treating suspiciously. Poponios. Is it an O or an A? I think it's an O. Okay. Poponios are the special souvenirs from my homeland, San Crio. If you have a Poponio, they say you get good luck forever. They say your dreams come true. They say you'll be eternally happy. Gosh, it sounds almost too good to be true. I think we'll have to decline, I'm afraid. We're in the middle of an important investigation at the moment. No, no, don't say no. If you like my Poponios, how about my... How about a proposal? Mm. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Screen change. The colors of the paints are representing the appearance of something. Apparently one of the colors can be seen every day, but which one is it? A is black, B is blue and C is white. Choose one of them. Some puzzles are multiple choice but with answer buttons like A, B, C or 1, 2, 3. Select an answer button to indicate that it's your answer. Then press plus or the submit button to see if you were right. There are some puzzles where you need to select multiple answers. Select each answer to push that answer button down. Then press the submit button and see if you were right. If you change your mind about an answer, simply select the answer button again to clear it. Colors and paints are representative appearance of something. Apparently one of the colors can be seen every day, but which one is it? Okay, that's that one's difficult. What color can be seen every day? 
Like for real. Blue, you will see the sky every day. But what if it's cloudy? I mean, blue would make the most sense. But still. This is an interesting one. Hmm? That's not like me. No? Try again. I think black. I mean, we can. I like, should do it. I think puzzles are made for solving. I just wanted to say, if black is wrong, it's only white. So. <laughs> oh. Hmm. You did it! The pink colors are representing the parents of the sky. Black is the night sky, blue is the sky on a clear day, and white is the sky on a cloudy day. The color that can be seen every day regardless of the weather is the black of the night sky. Okay. Fantastic, you got it right. My other thing for that. You should have a sun grill Poponio. Really? For free? For two thirds of the normal price. Hmm? Are you okay? Are you okay? Hmm? Oh, no thank you. No? Huh. Why does no one want my, to buy my, my poponios? I came such a long, long way from San Creo to sell my poponios all over the world. I was sure Londoners would like them, but nobody shows any interest at all. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like to buy a poponio to cheer me up? <laughs> no. No. Doing business like this is not easy. Okay, so I think we should save and maybe um, come to an end because it's already 11 p.m. So let me let me check who we could raid. Because a raid is always nice. Who else is online? Mm -hmm. This game is really good. I like it. Right? It's pretty good. Like all of the Professor Layton games are good. I think the ones. Oh, let's let's go to Nessa. I think the ones um, with. Professor Layton himself are better, um, but um, yeah, wait, wait a second. But this one is pretty good as well. Like, there's nothing much you can do wrong in these games. This one um, particular um, Professor Layton, uh, the Unbound Future. 
Um, it's such a good game. I really loved it. And yeah, we got, we can play that as well someday. First, we end um, the the mystery journey. What was it? Mystery journey? I, I already forgot. <laughs> okay, so let's go raid Nessa. Um, everyone. Wait. Ah. Copy the message. I just copy the message. And when we when we are in Nessa's chat, um, just send it. Okay, so let's go. Manju. Uh, 